Number 15 says, what are the pros and cons of dating a younger man? Okay. First of all, how y'all know how old he is? <laughs> but so anyway. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So they asked how old he was before, and then they asked the question, knowing our age, same person? Different person. Oh, though. okay. Different person. All right. That makes sense. <laughs> it just goes to show people be watching you, boy. Pros and cons of dating a younger man. So the pros are, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I I think, I, I just don't know. Kendrick's actually the first guy that I dated that was younger than me. I don't have any cons with dating my husband. He's just the man I prayed for and the man I was waiting for. So I, I don't have an answer for you, sorry. All right, let's move on. Question number 16. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Well, um, you know, I think this is a very easy question to answer. Why don't you answer it, Paul? <laughs> answer the question. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Lord, Even much. though I'm wearing a dress, that don't mean nothing. Moving on. <laughs> All right. What's your zodiac signs and are you compatible? Um, Y'all ready for this? Well, we were both born in April. As far as compatibility is concerned, we are very much compatible, I would say. Um, I believe her pros and cons are my strengths and weaknesses. Yes. They, they just blend together perfectly. She has made me better, and I would like to think that I've made her better. So we complement each other perfectly. To God be the glory. And if you're wondering, we're both Aries. Next question, 18. 18, what's it like being a step-parent? Well, I will say at first it was very, very challenging. And honestly, it was only challenging from the standpoint of my mental. Um, I had to just get to the point and understand that that God placed me in this role for a reason, you know. Um, and once I understood that, you know, God placed me here, it made being a step-parent a lot easier. And I will say that it's, you know, it's like being a parent, of, like being a, her being a mother to them, it's just, you know, there's challenges with raising children, but yes. overall it's been a pleasure, it's been wonderful, it's been awesome raising these young men, and you know, to God be the glory, he's gonna keep helping us and doing that together. Yes. Number 19, who's the cook of the family? Well, my wife, y'all see all the cooking videos. And if you haven't seen the cooking videos, what are you waiting for? They're right here on this channel. Go check them out. Another plug. <laughs> All right. So she does the majority, has been doing the majority of the cooking, but things have been shifting lately. Yes, they have. Things have been shifting. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but things have been shifting a lot. And that's lately. okay. You know, we just had a conversation about this. Now when she cooks, she expects me to come in and help her now because I did it a few yeah. times and now she's getting spoiled. I'm spoiled. So And I expect you know, him to every not every time though. It's, no, really. I expect you to yeah, come help right. me you every didn't time. Ask me about, you ask me the Point is she is the cook, but it's trending in the other direction. It's about time. My skills is growing, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm teaching him some stuff, right? She is. She's definitely teaching me. I, I'll give you that. I'll Next you question. That. Next question. <laughs> and don't think because I'm moving on that she was the pants in the relationship. <laughs> I just think it was time to move on. <laughs> See, what you got to do? Hey, let me just leave that. Oh, God. Leave that alone. <laughs> How long did you know each other before getting married? 23 months. 23 months. All right. There you go. Next question. Did you live together before marriage? Absolutely no. And it's not something that I believe in or I was raised that way. Um, mm -hmm. and I pastor always preached and teached. You do not, what's it called? It's shacking up. Yes. You don't shack up before marriage. And that's our belief. Um, that was our belief. You know, people do what they want, but we just didn't believe in living together before marriage. And that's our belief. Right. Okay, next question. How long have you been married? We have been married two years now. April of 2020 made two years. All right, and we'll be three years in April of 2021. Yes. Okay, moving on. And it feels like we've been married for 
more than two years. years. Yeah, it feels like we were married for a while. And that a good thing? That's a good thing for us. I think so. Okay. Because I feel like we know each other so well. And we get along we get along really well together. Like when I say we get along really well together, like if you were a fly on the wall, you would think that we're always but that's how we get along. And I like to think that we get along pretty good in that way, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean she works my nerves. He works my nerves. But you know He working my nerves right now. I was gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it alone because I wanna see y'all I want y'all seeing us arguing on we see, we don't really argue. Either. No, we we'll don't argue. We debate. We're, you know, we're going to talk about that in one of the questions. <laughs> in fact, that's the next question. Thank you. What do you fight about the most? What do we fight about mm. the most? See, that goes back to what she just said. We don't argue or fight. We have debates. Yes. You know, I call my sisters to bring them into the debates, and they, they don't know they be, loses. They don't know what they're talking about, just like her, most of the time. <laughs> but, um... It's all good, you know. His sisters, according to him, they take my side because we think alike. But it's your sisters, you know. Y'all think alike. Well, that's what you say when it comes to things, when it comes to what we debate on. Let me tell y'all the last debate. I just got to go and let y'all know about this one. Tell us what y'all think down in the comments below. Go ahead. So, the question was asked. Well, no, when earlier we was talking about the boy we're gonna have in the next year, and I said I can't wait to have my boy so we can, you know, play ball. Go outside and play catch, I believe it was, play right? Catch, yeah. Play catch. And her response was, well, why can't you play with your daughter? Yeah, why can't you? You can get a daughter. Why do you, you have to that? wait until we have a son to play catch with your child when you have a daughter right now? Right, and my response is, is not that I can't, it's just the fact that it's just something that you do with your boy. It's just a common thing. Or your daughter. And so I brought in an example. I said, okay, if you want to put, be, put it like that, when you had your daughter, what was your first thoughts of spending time with her? And I said, well, it was probably going to the nail salon. Which you said, I cannot wait to take my baby to the nail salon. Yeah, to get a pedicure and a manicure. Right, and my thing is, that is something that you dream about doing with your daughter, not your son. You never had that thought about your son. Taking him to... <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, God. So she didn't have that thought about her son. So what's the difference? The point is there's certain things that you, quote unquote, expect to do with your daughter or son. I get that, my love. I get that, mm -hmm. but the point I was making to you that night was, you have a daughter here now. Go play catch with her. I don't wanna play catch with her. Question 24, have you ever gone to bed mad at each other? Once. Can you think of any more than that? No. One time, and that was the last time because the Bible says, do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Meaning, don't go to bed mad at each other. That was the worst sleep of my life. And I don't ever want to experience that again. Right, absolutely. And that scripture is definitely profound in this situation. And that scripture actually is a lot more in depth than that. But tune into one of my inner word series and I'll explain that down the line. What's the worst fight you ever had? Um, I know. I don't remember. I, I remember. The reactions of the fight, but yeah. I don't know what the reason for what it was about. Thing, yeah, which means that we moved past it and we forgave each other. Yeah, but we did have a really, really bad. In our first year of marriage, it which was, is always it was say, rough. It, it was a little rough getting to know each patches. other. Um, yeah, and we had a fight. Yeah, not a physical fight. You know, but of course it not. Was, it was a lot of emotions. Yeah, running wild. Yeah, and I believe that was the night we went to bed upset with each other. Yeah, so yeah, it, it was, was bad. It, was, it, was, tough. it was bad. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, that's the thing. We 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 were sitting here trying to figure out what was it that we were so upset with each other about, and we don't even remember, y'all. Mm -hmm. It goes to show it ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. Talk about it, you know, hash it out, and move on because chances are you're not gonna remember what you're arguing about in the first place. True. Question is, have you ever considered divorce in your heart? 
No. No. Not once. No. I'm a firm believer that if you allow things like that to set in or even begin as a thought, it grows. And before you know it, you'll be driving up to divorce court. You know, and I know that Kendrick is the man for me. He makes me happy. He's good to me. He's good to my children. And I really, really believe that God sent him in my life. And for me to even contemplate divorce or even think about divorce, I feel like it's the first start of something disastrous. So I'm in love with the man I'm with and that's what matters to me. So I have never contemplated divorce and neither has he. Absolutely, and she said it best, God. Yeah. This is a God-ordained marriage and when God is in it, nobody can be against it. Amen. Not even us. Exactly. What do you like most about Lena's body? I would say her lips. That's what I like most. Next question. Are they asking me what I like most about yours? Yes, yeah, so I guess we'll combine those two questions together. His lips. I love this man's lips. There you go. So lips is a thing <laughs> in this family, in this household. Exactly. In this marriage. <laughs> Question number 29, and we have one more after this. We're almost there, everybody. Um, where do you see yourself in two years? What do you see yourselves in two years? In two years, I see us actually living in our dream home. I see us doing mighty, mighty work in the ministry in whatever capacity that God you know, has placed us in, in doing ministry. Um, I see us doing very, very well on YouTube. I couldn't have said it any better. And I also see my husband, because he's a real estate agent, selling houses like hotcakes. Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> okay. Our last question for today. What advice would you give couples who are struggling with their marriage? Man, um, if you know anything about me, my advice is always the same. Prayer. Yes. You know, you got to seek the Lord. Yes. You want the Lord, one thing I prayed about consistently, even, even today, Lord, be in the midst of our marriage always. And the Lord is in the midst of your marriage. He will make sure that thing is held together. That doesn't mean it won't be rocky roads, uh, you know, rocky times, but when God is in it, it makes the difference. Yes. So you need, to, you need to accept Him. If you don't have Him in your life, accept Him in your life. Amen. And accept Him in your marriage. Yes. I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, you get the glory out of, not just us individually, but out of our marriage. Let our marriage be a blessing. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So when you seek God, seek ye, the first, seek ye first, yes. the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's so so that means the Lord will bless your marriage. He will give you everything you need in your marriage. You need to seek him first. Amen. Above your marriage. Amen. And he will bless your marriage. Amen. So if you're struggling in your marriage, and you haven't considered that, give it a try. Give God a try and see the amazing miracles that can happen in your lives and in your marriage. And you will also see it in the lives of your children. Just like my husband said, it won't always be peaches and cream and it won't always be roses in a field. It will be tough. You've heard us mention here in this video that we've had some rocky times and we just thank God that he has been in the midst of it all because it is right. he who has given us the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding to get through it. I'm telling you, there have been some really difficult time for us, times for us in our relationship where we thought that, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I should have did things a little differently before getting married. Don't find yourself in that predicament. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, like my husband mentioned, and watch and see what God does in your marriage. See, the devil don't like unity, guys. Mm -hmm. He don't like it. Mm -hmm. So he'll do what he can to divide you. Mm -hmm. Okay, the unity that you have, mm -hmm. he will do what he can to divide you. Mm -hmm. Don't let him do that. Don't give him the satisfaction. So that's our advice to you all who are struggling. For your old taste and see yes. that the Lord is good. And yes. I'm telling you, he is a good God. Yes, he is. Ah, he is a good God, great yes. God, an awesome God. Just taste and see. Mm. Have you ever tasted something for the first oh. time and instantly mm. you thought this thing is good, it's delicious. It's just 
It's the same thing with God, but 100 times better. Yeah. Just taste and see. Just give him a try. Yeah. Try Jesus. It's a song, old school. Try, try Jesus. Jesus. He's all right. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's all right. If you just yes. give him a try. Yes. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. God is good all the time and all the time. God, God is, is good. good. Yes, he is. All right. So that's our advice. So now we've come to the end of the video and we have challenged a few of our fellow YouTubers to take part in this couples quiz. Now, we're going to challenge you and we're going to call you out. And we expect for you guys to take us up on this challenge. Oh, so we're going to call them out by name. We're going to call them out by name. So if you hear your name, challenge on. And when you take up this challenge, I want you to title it The Crockett Way Couples Challenge. Okay? Make sure you hashtag it, the Crockett Way Couples Challenge. And quiz yourself. Let us get to know more about you and your significant other. So here we go. All right, this is your challenge, guys. Three does that. You have been challenged. Brother Herb and Candy C. SF Rose and TR. Bay and Vela. Angie in real life and her significant other. Vern's Junk Closet. Carter's Eat, Eat to Live Strong, Ocean JYT, Aunt Maddie and B Hop Nation, Octavia Steen and her husband, Tierra B Just Doing Me, Ziggy Eats, Husband versus Wife, Crystal Wall and William Newell, Minister of Music Terrence Trower, Cubs Den and Blue Jeans Network. Shirley May and Willie Earl. B and B reviews it. Ernie Hatmaker and her man. Sint and Mo. Lux Granny Grace. Trof Dolph. The Miss Yo Yo Show. Nizo Journeys. Nina and Gerard. Shay's World, The Real K Mo, Trika Living, Tony Damien, Be Amazing Sylvia. All right, guys, you have been challenged. So remember, the challenge is on. Um, you're more than welcome to use the questions that we answered here, or you can come up with your own questions, or you can do what we did and reach out to your fans and get questions from them. But just remember, tag us, the, the Crockett Way Couples Challenge. Remember that. Thank you guys so much for watching. May you have a blessed life, a blessed day, a blessed evening. We will see you guys in the next video. And remember, if you have not done so, please go ahead and hit that like button. Leave us a comment below and remember to subscribe to our channel because we would love to have you here and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you will always be notified whenever we upload a new video. We upload at least twice a week and you don't want to miss it. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Bye.